Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Today... Cool. I'm guessing these are supp the supplies. Uh, but today, we apparently are going the wrong way. I think. Or we're going the right way. Well, what's down there? How are we supposed to move all these rations? Huh. Well, I, I don't think there's any side quest left, so I'm pretty sure we're heading to the gold saucer, or at least making our way towards it. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get there today. Oh, it's blocked off. That's bullshit. But all right, cool. Time to leave. That guy does not shut up about the world's anger and the righteous chorus or whatever he's talking about. Nice gun. But yeah, we can't seem to do any side quests, so well, let's... And we can't fast travel, so away we go. Uh, let's see. Nothing? Nothing. Oh, it looks like we need to wait. Ready? Then let's get a move on. I mean, yeah. Level 30? Mm. Oh, no, we're level 30. <laughs> the quest level is 27. Not very gold. All the way to the salsa. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and beat them up or something. I like you, Yuffie. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? <sighs> Where the hell is it? <laughs> like, I need to escape from my past. This about her? About Marlene? Corel <sighs> wasn't much. Decent place with decent coal. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. Medical condition. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. I mean, coal's not really much of the future. It's more of the past than present. We were happy. In this world, it's and definitely the past. Dirt, but none of that mattered. We had friends and family, and that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just I guess if they get rid of Mako, it would be the future? Again? <laughs> I don't age. So now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. I hear you, Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Not, not to mention the black lung that you get from mining coal. If I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we going to let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? If no one's buying the coal, it's worthless. We going to let them tell us we're worthless? Apparently, there's an update for WWE 2K24. It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Hmm. 
Well then, all in favor? <sighs> to be fair, it wasn't just Barrett that had them brought in, right? They all voted for it. Two years later, the reactor was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. But he was blamed for its destruction, right? Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. A rather contained explosion, though. It destroyed everything, but... The outskirts seem relatively then, fine. Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. That bitch. I don't get it. Why burn the whole town? to craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Oh yeah, that's right. Murderers. <laughs> that they are. Still, there's a whole lot of blood on my hands too. I pushed for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. You, the mayor, and everyone else that voted for it. The saucer's waiting. To be fair, I guess all of them would probably be held in contempt as well. That looks not safe. That looks extremely not safe. Why does everything look not safe? Ah, the mood killer. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. To be fair, you thought you were getting a good deal out of it. We gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever, the Gold Saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna I have. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. Right? <laughs> like, I, I want the fun. Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. Glad to see we're all on the same page. <laughs> uh, the price of progress. Now, to be fair, like... Getting the Maka Reactor wasn't probably the wrong... It, in hindsight, it's the wrong choice, right? But if you think about it, no one's using coal anymore outside of very few places. So, it's not like they had much of a future in coal there. Now, if they got... Hey, Ifrit! Chiva! <laughs> and hello to you, too! <laughs> this is our part-time jobs. <laughs> what the fuck? Was that... Was that a machine wheel? Like a lunar wheel? Is it because all the whales are dead in this universe? That's actually probably legit. <laughs> so in the in the original, right, they they got the reactor in Corral. There was an accident, it exploded, and then they blamed the city for it, and then they attacked them. 
The insurgent group, I think, is new. They might have said the insert it was part of insurgent group, but <laughs> the ladies have left you. <laughs> Try to catch up. Oh, hi, buddy. Where the frig did you come from? Also, why is the gold saucer not gold? And why is there just materia sitting here? What's with all the robe people? <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld reads Final Fantasy VII. Ooh, colorful. We saw that in Corel, right? Not Corel. Fucking uh, Costa del Sol. Was flying back and forth. This one's new. <laughs> Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look. Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Yeah. Who are these people? At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. We've been on a wanted list for a while. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. <laughs> Okay. I don't know how I just saw that. I'm apparently psychic now. Cloud, the others are waiting. The others are leaving. <laughs> They're straight up running from us. What are you talking about? They're not waiting. Is God, that sounds, uh... That voice sounded really familiar. Um... Well, Venus, what are you doing? Welcome to the Gold Saucer, Kubo. You'll find the main entrance just up ahead. Okay. Hope you enjoy your stay with us. Neat. Hello? That would be great. Isn't it like thirty thousand dollars for a lifetime pass or three thousand for uh, a day pass? That's a lot of money either way. I mean, thirty thousand dollars for a lifetime pass when the day pass is three thousand is a good deal if you're rich or save up for it. Just gonna sneak by you there. Excuse us, coming through. <sighs> oh, 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 hey! That's right. Hi, everyone. Let's get this party started. Oh, this is so gonna get claimed, or at the very least, shared revenue. That. Okay, Yuffie's a magical girl now, apparently. <laughs> and she knows the dance by heart, apparently. <laughs> so do the other ladies. What the? I thought that one was going to start twerking over there for a second. Oh, we're having a dance off. I'm not gonna lie, I thought your speedo was gonna be a lot more revealing. <laughs> to be fair, you're bulging out. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, I'm still 16! <laughs> Hello. It's not often we see someone as big as Barrett. It's like, oh god, am I gonna have to put on a dress again? <laughs> Cause I'm not the saying gold no, but... The gold Jesus Christ, how many steroids are you on? And you, sir, are... Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we I actually thought he was bringing his hand in to, like, feel his abs. Let go. Now, now, when fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? All right. Oh, are we Yu Gi Oh!ing? You can do this, Cloud. Man, what do you want me to do? Oh, is it boxing? Oh, no, it's dancing. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Second and fight. It's boxing. Okay. <laughs> Tutorial. Practice, eh? How prudent. Well, yeah, I've never had this before. Okay, yeah. just keep. Okay. All right. Oh. How am I supposed to know? Well. Oh, if you're that... Okay, so if you're that pose, it's left... Oh, God. Sorry. I thought it wanted me to do the other one. Okay, my bad. I thought we were still doing the left. I'm an idiot. Okay, so if he goes with the right, or my right, you do right. If he goes with the left, you do your left, or my left. Yeah. Come on. Like this. And this. No. Okay. All right. Shit. Well, strike all the enemies got no shit. How did you move that fast? Come on. Oops. Okay. Well. Yeah. How though? I'll just wait, I guess, until it tells me to do it. Okay. I thought I would be able to get him off guard with it, but no. Okay, that was, yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. We're good. Are we good, Cronus? We're probably good. Nothing personal. It's all personal. Here's my cross punch. How can this be? Well, the actual battle went a lot better than the the practice. Expertly done, Cloud. Your relationship with Iron 13 has changed, apparently. He really likes boxing. Well fought, young man. Hmm. 
<laughs> Can you put on some pants, please? <laughs> Give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. Good God. <laughs> like, he was jacked in the original, but my God, they went full, full roid on him. Oh, that's all natural, Cronus. Oh, yeah, clearly. All those veins just popping up for no reason. I do like those stories, by the way. <laughs> when, uh... Th there's been a few when there's, like, a fitness influencer out there on YouTube or TikTok or whatever. It's like, all my all-natural, no supplements, all, you know, meat diet. And then, like, a year later, it's like, yeah, here's his receipts for all the roids he's been buying and injecting for the last ten years. A small token of my thanks. One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. Cool. Uh... Oh! Uh, Wu Tai Pup Star has been added to the changing room. Thanks. Thank you, Dio. He has disappeared into the ether, apparently. Yo, I want this outfit. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. You got to tell me that one later. That's actually fantastic. That's right. The others. Tifa knew, but the others didn't. So now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sure, sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little break. All those in favor? Me, me. <laughs> it's like, I'm not voting. Last time I voted, things went wrong. <laughs> well, you guys already won the vote. Have your fun. While you still have time. Thank you, Sephiroth. Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, I'm all right. Come on, man. I know this ain't to see. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? But the mini games. The mini games, Barrett. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> what about my tickets? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? It will be kind of interesting, like that way. Oh, Venus just. Oh, one second. Venus just had a hairball all over my bed. Well, crisis not averted, but crisis cleaned up. Where are you going, Barrett? Uh, and now she's crawling on my lap. So don't puke there, please. Let me look around here first. Huh. Well, you're not wrong, but I get your point. Live it up while you can. Future's not promised to no one. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it is right, right? People, generally speaking, people don't consider that once Mako's gone, they would have to use some like coal again or some other alternative that they don't have right now. Um. At the same time, they don't know like. Gen the general public do not know that Mako is a temporary thing. Or a hazardous thing. You want me to check this out? You want me to go on here? Rude. How about this one? Whee! I'm moonwalking. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ooh, it's spooky. That's a that's a good way to make those. In uh, the original, they were just like tubes that you 
just went through, kind of like Futurama style, but they never really showed it. I think. That's what it always looked like to me. Spooky, scary skeleton. Dude, we have fought spirits before. Oh, ooh. Wow. I guess you didn't fight those ones. Can you believe this shit? This is what the planet's dying for? This is why we're bleeding or dry? It's just a haunted house, Look my dude. It. Look. All of it. Mako. Siphon straight from the live stream. I mean, that person from could be from the live stream, for all we know. Hey, get a grip. Rude. Okay, now we're gonna have to pay for this shit. What do we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. I'm not over his head. Waiting to clear those somber skies. Whether it be dark or bright, I'll need your future right. Just then go shooting the messenger. Eh? This some kind of toy? Yes. <laughs> Shrug. Lads. Eyes up here. Eyes are never up there. Fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. Huh. It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. Turn that frown upside down. The gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show us those pearly whites. Back off. <laughs> I also smoke a lot of cigars, so they're not white. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Someone's got a bee in their booty. In we go, I guess. He used to smoke cigars. He did, like, smoke cigars at some point, right? I feel like I'm making that up, actually. <laughs> Just like, God, I hate my job. So, what do you guys do that every time at noon and at midnight? I thought the outside was tacky. Seems classy now. Ah, he's not that bad. Away with the glitz and glamour. Uh, Here at the haunted hotel. <laughs> I can sleep like the dead. I like that. Is this a bar? Hi. So a friend told me this story. A Tomberry robot? I want one? Can I have one? That would be amazing. Tacky and understaffed. Ah, welcome to reality. Hello? <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger, please. Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh, he was joking. Make it six. Very well. <laughs> now then. I don't know why. I thought he was going to make a joke about Yuffie there for some reason. Terribly sorry, gentlemen. But it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. Okay. What? Oh, kill some oh, of the people there? Hi. No way to stay? Yeah. And what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Doesn't matter. Just six beds would be great. I 
wouldn't he dream of such a thing? And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Sure you will. Well, aren't we a prickly bunch? Have you seen my hair? You there, dangly man. Would you mind checking one more time? Timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> it feels so. <laughs> I'm a hacker. <laughs> All right, lads. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Neat. Please proceed to the elevator at the top. I need to go stairs. play some mini games, like a biking mini game, submarine mini game, snowboard mini game. I think they're actually gonna have those. What are you staying with us? Rawr. There you are. The offer still stands. A fortune or two to steer you true. I'm saying like, shit. I love fortune Can telling. Answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that. Go on and ask the cat. Okay. We're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh. Sephiroth. You say. All right. Hold on to your underpants. Ah, don't wear them. <laughs> That's gonna feel weird. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? It's also a fortune telling, not like a location device. Come on. <laughs> Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? Yeah. About right. We're done. Wait, don't go. Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. You can shoot him, Barrett. It's all right. I'm like, no, I'm not all right. I feel like I've heard yeah, that before. It's just what I cherish most. Oh, you don't know. Um, see what this crap does. <laughs> My apologies, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess we're gonna go in now. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. That's very unlikely. I know Venus, right? You puked on my bed. What the fuck was that about? You wish to go down, I presume. Ooh, No, can I just come Fourth in? Floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me. Oh god. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I already know what's going to happen. God damn it. <laughs> I have shit my pants. Reservation under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, uh, one moment, please. <laughs> uh, excuse me, do you not bite my headset, it Gable? Phoenix. Cancel those rooms. What? No, we didn't. Uh, While well, we did have you booked for the Tonberry and <laughs> Elagor suites, 
Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. <sighs> Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. He laughed a little bit. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress. You remind me of that clown from Spawn a little bit. A lot thinner, but and a lot less horrifying. But at the same time, same facial expressions. We've arrived. Farewell. We hope you have yourselves a ghoulish and morbid evening. How much do they pay you? I hope it's a lot. I thought that was a treasure. That is a candle. And here? <laughs> More toys. That's awesome. Look at it. I, I want that so much. I get the big bed. Start to miss Johnny's seaside fleet trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. <laughs> I got some games to play. But not for fun, just to take a walk. I'm gonna have toes of fun. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Don't think he can just rest up and shake this off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well that's horrifying. And disappointing. I'm gonna try again. You never know, could have been real the second time. My god. How much would you cost? That is adorable! Tons of berries. That is... Oh, Jesus Christ. Can I leave? Rest while you can. Uh, I can use this bed? I don't want to use this bed. I want to use this bed. Go to sleep? I mean, I guess so. There's really nothing around here to do, yeah? I mean, I'm gonna try looking at some of these. I'm taking the big bed. Oh, I can't examine that bed. Okay, so this must be something special here. <laughs> oh, I like it. Oh, a genie lamp? Oh, you just go back in? Boo! Oh, you have fun, little dude. What was that? Did he just break? No. Was it this stuff? Oh. Oh, it's gonna fall off. Sleepy time. More tired than I thought. Venus, stop it. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. Hi. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. That Aerith over there? Yeah. So we're actually other timeline cloud now. Oh, I'm actually moving Zack. Holy shit. Okay. That's weird. Huh. Never seen material like this before. 
Something about the color. About you? I mean, I actually legitimately thought they they killed her off. Didn't peg you as a bookworm. Uh, at the beginning of this timeline. Can I check my stats? No, of course not. Uh. Okay, now I can check my stats. What was that? Oh, Marlene was already here? That's interesting. How did Barrett and Tifa even meet Aerith in this timeline then? Right? Because they only met because of Cloud. And... I guess things happened a lot sooner in this timeline? Because the timeline for the beginning of Final Fantasy VII after Zack's uh, last stand uh, is what? Only a few weeks, right? You know, Cloud makes the Midgar, he kind of collapses in the slum, and Tifa finds him, right? And then he, uh, he well, he says he's a Merc, he goes on with his stuff. <laughs> and then Final Fantasy VII starts. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. Yeah, I'd eat all those crackers. <laughs> you're supposed to say thank you. She's right. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Bix. He was just dropping off some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? You've seen those wanted posters all over town? Well, his face is on them. Hmm. Huh. So they have all the other ones, or at least all the other ones are dead. Hi, Charlie Sheen. How do you know him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. <laughs> <sighs> Sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. By bringing their I'll bodies back. Fix. Right now. <gasps> mean it? Always do. Honest and true. But... <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> That's my whole shtick. You no, know, I like rhymes. Sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. Not bad, kid. So you're dreaming about the other timeline? Okay. Because honestly, that should be in the past, right? But I guess technically at the end of the remake, we did pass each other on the way there, which also doesn't make sense timeline-wise, yeah? It is kind of weird. Well, very dark in here, apparently. Uh, that is also going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I will see you all next time. Have a great day. Bye.